Yes, I'm leaving. Leaving. I'm long gone. Hey, welcome back YouTube to week seven of my AMD challenge. This challenge is that I'm gonna track one company for the next 52 weeks to see if keeping track of the news, the price action, doing technical analysis, in earnings report on if I could be a successful trader by the end of the year by just keeping track of one company only. Now this week in AMD, a lot has happened. They had their first red day after about a seven or eight day run upwards. Their new seven nanometer CPUs are testing almost at five gigahertz. And the most impressive thing of all is that AMD finally reached a hundred billion dollar market evaluation. Like, that's crazy because I remember investing into AMD back when it was like $14. And now it's at a hundred billion dollar market evaluation. That is insane. But before we dive into Robinhood, the news and the market analysis of AMD, make sure that you stick to the end for the market evaluation. I got a little something special for you guys. But before we get started, make sure that you scroll down and hit that thumbs up button and kind of look like this. And it take about half a second to just hit that click button on the thumbs up. It helps out this channel more than you guys can even imagine. Like just hitting the thumbs up button that take one second, literally, helps out this channel tremendously and allows me to have the time to do the research to bring it to you guys. So now that you guys have hit the thumbs up button, let's go ahead and dive into my Robinhood account to show you the moves that AMD has made this week. Okay, here we are on my Robinhood account. I'm sitting at $22,441 on the week. I am up $630.55, up 2.89%. So I had an amazing week for week seven for my portfolio. So I have a free stock available from Antonio. Thank you, Antonio. Let's open that up right quick. Let's click the right one. There you go. Ooh, I thought that was gonna say Amazon. All right, AMRS is worth about $3.86. Thank you, Antonio. Make sure you leave what you got down in the description to let everyone know what kind of free stock that you got. Also, if you guys want a free stock, make sure you click the link down in the description, sign up for Robinhood and you get a free stock. Also, Webull is down in the description. If you sign up and deposit $100, you'll get two free stocks value up to $1,200. All right, here we are on AMD, the first red day they had in a very long time. It is at $84.76. On the day, it shot down 2.15% on Friday, but on the week, it's up 8.44%, $6.60. So it started out around $77 and shot all the way up to $84.76. Six cents somewhere along the line i say around the 86 dollar price point amd had broke above the 100 billion dollar market evaluation if we scroll down i am up two thousand four hundred and twelve dollars and sixty five cents on amd now this week since amd was so expensive and overpriced and i said i was gonna wait for the pullback a little bit i didn't buy any extra shares of amd i'm gonna wait for the price to pull it back just a little bit more and then i'm gonna dive back in so my total gains for amd is still around 31 dollars 62 so let's scroll down a little bit more the market cap is at 99.62 billion dollars and i believe amd is going to be a 100 billion dollar company for the foreseeable future so if you think that AMD is gonna be $100 billion for the next five years, you could go ahead and invest into it right now and don't have to wait for a pullback. But I don't have that much money to invest, so I'm gonna wait for a little bit of pullback so I could get the most value out of each stock. The 52-week high is at $87.29, and the 52-week low is at $27.43. If you can invest into AMD at $27.43, you came up. You did a phenomenal job at getting in at the dip and riding it all the way up to $87.29. Congratulations to you. Not everybody is, a, is as lucky, but AMD is probably gonna keep surging up in the foreseeable future. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit more and take a look at the news, they did hit their $100 billion market evaluation three days ago. And now they dipped just under $100 billion to $99 billion, but I do think that they're gonna stay above $100 billion 
for the next couple of years or so. But that's all that's going on in my Robinhood account at the moment, nothing too crazy. If I see a good buying opportunity this week, I'm gonna go back in with about three more shares and buy some more AMD so I could continue to gain some gains from AMD. But enough of the Robinhood account, let's dive into the news. There's some great news coming out and then we'll do our market analysis. All right, here we are on the news, AMD Next Gen, uh, their CPU Zen 3 has reportedly been spotted almost hitting a five gigahertz boost clock with 4.9 that's been tested with 4.9 boost clocks which is insane to have a cpu other than intel go so fast at 4.9 gigahertz i'm pretty sure once the consumers get their hands on it they'll be able to overclock them to over 5.0 gigahertz now these tests are coming from the models with 16 cores and a cpu that's at a 5.0 gigahertz that is insane speed they're going to kill Intel. The seven nanometers are just destroying the market right now. And they're the only ones on the market with seven nanometers chip. So Intel is falling, falling, falling far behind. Okay, guys. So AMD might continue to surge over the next couple of weeks because they have a monopoly over the CPU market at the moment. Also, Apple did cut their ties with Intel. So Apple computers are no longer going to use Intel CPUs. They're going to design their own CPUs. So that's another dagger in the heart for Intel. Now, the next news that we're going to look at has to do with AMD and NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, they're going to announce in September their RTX 3000 series, which will, should be announced on September 9th. They're going to announce it. They're going to do all the, the specs, and then they're going to announce the price point of their 3000 series. Now, if that price point is super high compared to AMD new GPUs that are going to come out, then that could be very helpful for AMD. We know AMD GPUs is not going to be better faster or stronger than NVIDIA's, but when you compare the price points, AMD is gonna be able to say, okay, they're pricing their top tier GPU at $799. We're gonna make a GPU that is just 20% less as strong as your top tier, but it's gonna be half the price. So AMD is gonna have to price point their GPUs at a much lower price than NVIDIA's top GPUs in order to compete with NVIDIA. So hopefully AMD new GPUs can be stronger and faster than Nvidia's last series of GPUs at a much cheaper price so, so that people don't go out and buy Nvidia's used last gen series other than AMD new GPUs. So piggybacking off of that, the graphics cards is about 25% cheaper than the 2070, so the RTX 2070 series but it comes close in terms and performance. So it's gonna be even cheaper than Nvidia's last uh, 2070 series, but it's gonna be just as strong. So just like I said, they're gonna to have to make sure that price point is at a great price point in order to compete with Nvidia. And the last bit of news we're gonna look at is Ryzen 7 Pro uh, 4750G review, the seven nanometer CPUs. Um, right now is going crazy out there with that thread performance. It offers a seven nanometer chip that offer up to 25% increase in single threaded performance and up to 2.5 times increase in multi threaded performance uh, using different applications. That is insane for the new gen CPUs. A 25% increase, that is, AMD is killing it right now with their seven nanometer chips. So that's a bit of the news that's coming out, a little bit of NVIDIA news, a little bit of AMD news. Now let's bounce over to the market analysis. So here we are on the 180 day for our chart. We've been talking about this over the last seven weeks. So let's zoom in towards the upcoming weeks. AMD is still way overvalued for me to get in, but it shot up from around $58 to $87 for a percent gain of around 48% in just a couple of weeks. And the news do say that their price should be at that price point. So it might not be so much overvalued as I think it is. So let's zoom in on the one hour, 20 day chart to, to draw some new trend lines. Okay, clearly we can see here, there's a little resistance line right here at around $87. So let's draw that line out right here and extend it out. All right, so I mean, it bounced off of here once, twice and kind of rolled up kind of rolled off the resistance line and came back down. Now AMD could do two things this week. It could trade within this channel using the 180 day simple moving average as its resistance line, or it could get some more news and bust above the resistance line that we're looking at right here. Do I believe it's gonna fall below 77, 
$76. I think it could use this as a support. I don't think it's gonna fall all the way back down to $59. If it do, I'm gonna buy a whole bunch more money, but I do think it's gonna stay in between these channels right here for the next week until around September when more news come out on the GPUs that are gonna get released. Now, like I said, other than just looking at AMD, we're gonna look at their competitors. Let's take a look at NVIDIA, N-V-D-A. All right, taking a look at NVIDIA, let's zoom out to the four hour, 180 day chart. Now, NVIDIA is straight up killing it. Let's draw this trend line and then draw one more trend line right here. All right, so we're looking at NVIDIA. It's been trading in between this upward channel for the last couple of months. It's been trading in this uptrend channel, and right now it's at the top of this channel. It could come back down all the way to this channel to around $416, $420 in this channel right here. So if AMD falls, I, could, I might see AMD rising if AMD falls, but who knows i'm gonna keep track on both companies if this company if M nvidia do follow a little bit and amd is at a good price i'm gonna go ahead and get in with a couple of shares to get a quick scalp on amd and then take that quick profit but i don't think nvidia is going to fall below the 180 day simple moving average it can also continue to rise above and break above out of this trend line i don't think so but I think it's gonna stay in this channel. I think AMD is gonna stay in this channel and hopefully everything next week is smooth selling. All right guys, and that's it. That is week seven of AMD. I gave you guys some good news, some good news from uh, Nvidia and some bad news from Intel. I didn't go in with any shares this week from uh, AMD, but I hopefully this week, if it stays within that channel and pull back just a little bit, I'm gonna go in with a couple of shares of AMD buy some and then try to sell it at the top of the resistance lines that I showed you in my market analysis to get a quick profit from AMD. So I do have a grip on my plan for the week. That's the good part of tracking this one company for the late, for the next 52 weeks is that I'm going in with a plan and not just buying anything and everything off of a whim. So if you guys wanna keep up with this challenge, make sure that you scroll down and hit the subscribe button and while you're down there, Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. But other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.